what is going on guys welcome back to the channel man you guys know what it is man it's careful okay so uh, you guys one of you guys told me uh kevin can you please check out philippines and u.s marines doing some sniper man some some sniping so anyways you guys have this video it's uh philippine marines and the u.s marine snipers unique i mean technique sharing philippine marines and the u.s marine snipers techniques sharing okay so i'm guessing they're going to be sharing different techniques and showing us how it's done how it, how they do it in you know in the wild and when they're on the hunt for all the bad guys and sniping anyways man let's get to the damn video so who is this this looks like i'm looking for like the tags on their shoulders Okay, this is like the U.S. You can tell. They're yeah, obviously the white guys. Follow me this time. Okay. Live action role play. Basically, all we do. Live action role play. Okay. This is where we're going to set up our hide site. We have we're going to start gathering up our vegetation. And we're going to build it up towards the objective over back. here, okay? We'll be yeah. good. So we're going to get a lot of grass, bring it in, set up our screen, okay? Okay. So the first thing to set up is screen. I guess this is the wall they're going to be hiding behind. Okay. Let's keep that coming. Do write bad things about him on the internet? But they must be on like the edge of the grass field, right? Because I don't see the point of being in like the center of the the grass field trying to snipe someone. Because you got to be able to visually see them, right? Come in. Screen. Make your window. Now you don't want to be too big. Just enough so your barrel can go through. And you can see through with the scope. If there's some in front of the scope, that's okay. Alright. So... Right now, it looks like the U.S. Marines are training the Filipino Marines in techniques right now. Okay. Uh, Just leave it there. There you go. So, so now we got our window through to the objective the side through our screen. All right, so we're we'll holding our position yeah. here. You can observe the objective. You can take shots on targets that you need to. You will able to see through your screen. You can burn through the brush. Your scope's not exposed, your barrel's not exposed, it's still inside the brush, so you can take shots through at targets that appear, or we can observe. Really, they have a lot more experience in the jungle, obviously, us being focused more on okay. Iraq and Afghanistan, the desert types of settings. So it was good to be able to see what they do and then also show them as far as our patrolling yeah. tactics, you know, what we do patrolling in and making a hide site to get eyes on an objective area. So that's kind of what we really focused on today. That's right. Uh, they're really warm, receptive, you know, willing to share ideas, are interested in what we have to share with them. Uh, it's been a all around good experience, I think, to be able to, you know, train with someone, whether it's from, you know, the Iraq, Afghanistan setting to now with the, cool. more of the NATO forces here with the Phil Mars. It, it's been a good experience. The so uh, that's what they call the Filipinos, the Phil Mars. Okay. So, I don't know, this video is really short. Okay, guys, it was honestly really short. I felt like this video didn't really show too much techniques. I mean, sure, you build the brush, but I watch enough like sniper movies and I've watched played enough video games to know that yeah, when you when you're uh, playing sniper and whatever, man, you gotta make sure that you're covered in the brush and they can't see you. So that's pretty like common sense, man. It's pretty straightforward. So I feel like this video honestly didn't share that many that much techniques, man. And like he said at the end. The Filipinos, obviously, they have more jungle experience because the Americans, they only really fought wars in, like, like Iraq, you know, desert fighting kind of stuff. So when it comes to the jungle stuff, the Filipino soldiers obviously know more. And obviously, they, they know how to track better because I did the other video with the guy from National Geographic. I forgot his name. Uh, Liam something. I forgot, honestly, I forgot his name. But yeah, I did the other video. And he said that the Filipino trackers were some of the best trackers he's ever seen, man, because they caught him. Apparently they caught him. I didn't get to see the full episode, but they caught him. So that tells you something, man. If he ne and he's never been caught before. So if the Filipinos soldiers caught him from tracking, 
that tells you that some of these Filipinos are honestly like the, the best trained soldiers in the world, man. In the world. But anyways, man, that's the end of the video. If you guys made it all to the end of the video. You guys know what to do. Give the video a big thumbs up. If you guys absolutely love the video, man, hit that subscribe button down below. Turn that post notification bells on. Go check out my Instagram. Follow me on my Facebook as well. You know, it's Kevo. It's Kevo for real. Go, go follow me. All, all those other good stuff. All right. Anyways, I'm out. Peace.